6 9 loses temper. NBA Youngboy exposes Jay Prince. Brooklyn is in the building. What's popping? What's popping? We popping. Treyway. Treyway. Takashi 6 9 is in the building. It's been a rough and busy week for the rap game lately. Recently, 6 9 learned some troubling news and has been rampaging on social media ever since. And while he's been dealing with that, Youngboy has come to blows with Jay Prince over some kindness that may be nothing more than clout chasing. Welcome to Lime Report. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description to enter a chance at winning our Apple product giveaway. Takashi 6 9 has been working pretty hard since returning to the music industry. When he first re-emerged, he came with long-awaited post-prison single, Gooba, and it seemed like the track would hit number one on the charts, but sadly was never able to make it. 6 9 called Billboard out on the incident, saying that there was no way he could have lost the spot, but it was no use. Since then, the rainbow-haired rapper has been on a mission to claim the number one spot. With that goal in mind, 6 9 joined up with his longtime friend and collaborator, Nicki Minaj. Together, the two created the new single, Trolls, and released the song along with the music video in typical 6 9 fashion. And while Trolls has been doing amazing and even managed to debut at number one, 6 9 is feeling more outraged than ever and plans to take it out on those responsible. But that's not even the craziest thing we have to talk about today. According to multiple sources, Youngboy's house was recently robbed, and the thieves managed to pick up a few of his vehicles during the heist. Youngboy seemed to have the situation pretty much handled when rap -a -Lot Records CEO Jay Prince decided to get himself involved. The perps turned out to be a couple of dumb kids, and allegedly one of the robbers posted a video online documenting the robbery. The thieves then demanded Youngboy pay a ransom, but he had other plans, asking the crooks to meet up instead. Though Youngboy was planning on confronting the people who stole his stuff, Jay Prince decided instead to insert himself into the situation and made a mess of things despite his good intentions. Thanks for joining us today. Today we'll be taking a closer look at both the crazy stories surrounding the infamous 6 9 and NBA Youngboy. Don't go anywhere as we show you just what happens when 6 9 and Youngboy get pushed over the edge. You won't want to miss out on any of this. Feels like the floodgates are finally reopened for 6 9 as he landed his first ever number one single on the Minaj assisted trolls. Takashi 6 9 is all about boasting numbers, so not having a good number one song really seemed to be hurting his pride. He came close with Gooba, but after a last minute submission by Grandi's team, she was able to beat him out with the number one debut spot. The last minute loss caused 6 9 to go into a rampage about how Billboard essentially allows people to buy their way into the top spot. Though he wasn't able to prove anything in the end, he was able to get people talking. And at the end of the day, that's Takashi's number one goal. Since 6 9 failed to pick up the number one spot with his solo comeback single, he decided to pair up with his good friend Nicki Minaj to all but guarantee him the number one spot. With Nicki on his side, 6 9 was able to pick up the buzz necessary to give him the number one debut on the charts that he's always dreamed of. But while 6 9 was in great spirits and ready to celebrate his win, the Brooklyn star also had a message for everyone that doubted that he'd be able to make it this far after being released. According to 6 9 not only did some people doubt he would be able to reach his goal, but there were some people in the community who actively tried to hamper his success. The Hot 100 chart topper also stated streaming platforms Spotify and Apple's attempt to blackball him failed. Typically, new rap songs make the platform's hottest rap playlist. Takashi 6 9 has yet to make that playlist with either of his first two singles in 2020. It's clear that 6 9 has let his new number one single, the Nicki Minaj assisted Trolls, go to his head. In an Instagram video posted on Tuesday, the rapper calls out some of his rivals, namely Meek Mill and Future, for never securing a number one song on the Billboard Hot 100. You guys ever notice that when people diss me, or they say my name, or try to clown me, the moment I respond, like the moment I address them, I'm dragging them, 6 9 said. I get it. Well, today I'm number one in the world, right? And I just want to address a couple things, he continued. I got a list. Let's start at the top. Future, you've been rapping for over a decade. Not over a decade, close to a decade. You have many Drake features, my friend, and you never went number one. Mr. Meek Mill, since 2011, close to a decade, you never went number one either. 6 9 also called out Lil Durk, G Herbo, Gucci Mane, and Trippy Red for never going number one, as well as every New York rapper that's a male that's not old. 
who has never been number one. Also, for some extra trolling points, 6ix9ine donned a trippy red shirt in the video. The rapper couldn't be happier with debuting at the top, and now he plans to rant on social media for seven days in celebration of his victory. Now stay tuned as we shift over from 6ix9ine's impending rampage to the problems Youngboy has been dealing with. You won't want to miss out on any of this. It's been a rough week for Youngboy as he's had to deal with drama from multiple different sides at once. Just last week, a group of kids broke into NBA Youngboy's house and posted a video of their actions. Young thieves ended up with a chain as well as the key fobs to NBA Youngboy's Rolls Royce and McLaren. That's when things got really interesting. The culprits demanded $30,000 in ransom money to get them back. NBA Youngboy scoffed at the notion and claimed the thieves only managed to take his Gucci flip-flops. The rapper then suggested that the thieves pull up and fight him for the belongings rather than pay a great deal of money for his own stuff. It seemed as though the rapper would be able to get the robbers to pull up and settle things like men, but just before he was able to meet up with him, Jay Prince intervened and the move infuriated Youngboy in an instant. Jay Prince, who is a respected elder statesman and hip-hop, is known for helping rappers get their stolen belongings back. Just last year, he managed to retrieve a chain which was stolen from the neck of YBNJ when he was slashed during an altercation in New York with some gang members. According to Jay Prince, people associated with the guys who robbed Youngboy's house reached out to him in order to squash any beef that may be growing between them. The little homies that went into this house want to make that right because they understand that, you know what I mean, Youngboy's family is okay with me. To make a long story short, I got your keys to your Rolls Royce. I got your keys to your McLaren. You know, all that bleep that they took. J Prince wrote on social media. J Prince is seen as somewhat of a leader in Texas, and so it makes sense that any rumbling of a feud would go through him. But young boy wanted to be able to handle things on his own, and Prince intervened, ruining his plans. According to J Prince, while speaking out about the incident, he said, I got a call about it and the little homies who went into his place want to make that right because they understand that Youngboy's family is okay with me. Prince ended the video by asking Youngboy to get in touch in order to get his stuff. However, Youngboy felt a quick phone call, especially from someone as connected as J Prince, would have been more effective instead of a social media blast. I ain't on new friends. I ain't on new relationships, he said as he addressed Prince's approach. You got some for me, there are plenty bleep around me who you could call. It's plenty of ways you could have got in touch with me. Don't get on no internet and do nothing publicly, instructed a very annoyed and upset young boy. The way young boy responded to Jay Prince is understandable. There really is no reason why Jay Prince got involved in the first place, but it still caused a ripple effect that now everyone has to deal with. When Jay Prince caught wind of the way young boy decided to repay his kindness, it really upset the rap a lot CEO because all he wanted to do was help Youngboy recover stolen items. So when the Baton Rouge rapper tried calling Jay Prince out, he had some words for Youngboy too. I see you took my kindness for weakness, because you a dumb boy with limited li thinking ability and disrespectful. Talking stick, Prince said, and added that despite that disrespect, he's still down with Youngboy's boy, OG3. But you dumber than a box of rocks, he continued. What you should be mad about is your weak-ass security being asleep in front of your house. And they lied about being asleep. Let me say this to you, little homie. You not a friend or an enemy. Let's keep it that way. By the way, I am minding my business. You just too dumb to know. Texas is my business. I will give you whatever you ask for, good or bad. 6 ix 9 and NBA Youngboy are currently sitting at some of the most successful artists out there today, but they still have to deal with plenty of their own problems. Although 6 ix 9 was able to secure the number one spot he desired so badly, there's still so much work that needs to be done. While 6 ix 9 uncovered during his recent quest to collect as many number one singles as he can, is that there are some great forces at work against him. 6 ix 9 is obviously a controversial figure, so he faces some pushback but it seems he never realized just how much people are willing to do to go against him. Many of the top DJs and playlist curators among the streaming service decided to blacklist 6 9 and exclude him from any major playlists. Although there was so much working against him, he was still able to debut at number one. As for Youngboy, he may have just found himself a powerful new enemy he may soon come to regret. While we don't know what will happen to either 6 9 or Youngboy, we can be sure that both men will have a tough road ahead of them as they continue to face their own issues. 
But will 6 9 be able to continue to overcome the industry leaders that are pushing against his success? Will Youngboy ever find peace in the hostile situation he accidentally created? Or will both men have to suffer the consequences of their actions? Thanks for joining us on Lime Report, everyone. Make sure to let us know what you think. And before you go, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out the link in the description to enter a chance at winning our Apple product giveaway.